Well, hello there and welcome back to another vlog. It has been a hot minute since we've had a proper catch up in a vlog. Finally made it through January, guys. It felt like it was eight weeks long, but we got through it. And I'm picking up the vlog today because I have a really fun weekend planned. Myself and Yosef are going to Trilly in Kerry and we're going to the Ballygarry Estate Hotel for two nights, which I'm so excited about. It's gonna be such a treat. Like everybody else, January was just a very long, kind of boring month. I'm just brushing my hair out. I did the overnight blow dry method last night and it actually worked quite well. Now it's a bit puffy right now, but it definitely gave me some volume. I'm just gonna do a quick spritz of my favorite dry shampoo. This is the Chloren um, dry shampoo. It's the one with nettle. Sorry, my hair looks very big right now. Let's just leave the dry shampoo to like sit for a minute. Um, so, okay, we've so much to catch up on. I need to bring you guys up to speed on all of the wedding planning. We are just under a year away from the wedding. I think we're like 11 months to be exact. We've made so much progress lots of stuff to update you on. I also have booked in my first wedding fitting for later in this month, which I am so excited for. I can't wait to start the whole dress process. Also, we have lots of beauty updates because, so the last time I checked in with you guys in my bridal beauty update video, I'd been going through a phase of having really sensitive skin and reactive skin, and I was really working hard to kind of get it back to normal. And guys, I feel like I've made so much progress. I'm so happy. I'm finally back able to use um, some actives again really carefully and I'm using them under the advice and instruction of my facial kind of clinic, my skin clinic that I go to, which is Renew. A big part of that healing of my skin barrier was to do with using the red light therapy, that red light mask. I have been so religious with it. And one of its number one things is to like calm and heal your skin barrier. And I feel like it's really done that, but I have another beauty device that I am dying to try. And it's one that involves microcurrent and nanocurrent. I'm really excited to start using it. So I'm gonna bring it with me and I'm gonna use it for the first time when I'm in the Ballygarry estate. On the subject of beauty, I honestly felt like January, the winter uglies were hitting and I think so many people were the same. I was talking about this on my Instagram. I think it's like the not wearing that much tan, which I know shouldn't have such an effect on how I feel, but sometimes I feel like just a really light, light bit of color makes me feel better. So I have one on right now and it just gives a really light, light glow to the skin because I'm very pale and I don't really tan very naturally. So I'm going on a journey of finding my favorite like natural, natural looking tans. So yeah, as I was saying, I was really feeling the winter uglies in many, many ways. So I went in yesterday to a lovely beauty salon in the city center. It's called Fifth Avenue. I'd actually never booked in there before and they have this really big, kind of like an emporium right in the city center. They also have a smaller branch that they use just for nails. So I popped in there yesterday and I got my nails done. They were in dire need of being done. I always get a Biab manicure and it's just so good. Their cuticle work was amazing. I feel like they did a really, really good job. If you find it hard to grow your nails and if you find that they chip, if you have like a holiday coming up or a wedding or whatever and you want them to just last, Biab is the one for you. They're so, so good. I also got a pedicure for the first time and I don't know how long. Oh my God, it was phenomenal. Like she went to town. They did a really, really good job and I need to book in for more regular pedicures, especially coming into the summer because it's such a treat. Also got my brows laminated and I hadn't got that done in a good few months. They are always a little intense for the first few days and then I find it so much easier to get ready. It's like you're using so much less time and effort when your brows are already kind of ready to go. I did leave there feeling kind of like a new woman. It just, it was really, really nice. This year I am definitely going to double down on all of my kind of self-care bits and bobs because it just makes me feel so good. It's such a nice thing to do. I also cleaned my ring for the first time in ages. I used one of these dazzle stick things. Rocks Jewelers in Dublin, which is where I got my ring, they gave me one of these little sticks and I have not been using it enough, but really the difference when you give it a little sparkle, like there was chunks of hand cream stuck in there. I'm actually a bit sickened at myself that I haven't been doing this more often. So note to self, if you haven't cleaned your rings in a while, these guys are really handy. I'm sure they're on Amazon. I'll link them below. If you want to know more about my ring, I will link in the description below my full vlog on creating this ring. It is a lab 
Black Diamond and it is my pride and joy. I love it so much. So I'm already rambling too much. As you can tell, I have so much I want to catch you up on. But for now, I'm going to finish getting ready, get dressed, finish packing the bags. We're going to hit the road. So I will check back when we're there. I'm so excited to see Ballygarry Estate. I've never been there before. So I will see you then. Oh my God, I had the best night's sleep. We've checked into the Ballygarry estate and it is so beautiful here. We're here for two nights, which is chef's kiss because we just woke up this morning and we are having such a lazy self-care morning. It's perfect. We're just planning on completely chilling out. We're gonna go to the thermal suite and get into the jacuzzi, do the sauna, the steam room, and I'm just doing my morning skincare now. So the theme of this weekend is very much self-care. We were in bed last night so early. We did my absolute favorite thing to do when you stay at a hotel and it is to get your dessert sent up to the room. Chef's kiss, if you've never done this, it will change your life. Then we're having a self-care morning and I'm gonna do my skincare. But I mentioned to you guys that there was a new device that I was dying to try and I figure what better time than when I'm having a lazy self-care morning. I think you'll have heard about this device before, but it's called the Zip Halo. And this is the world's only at-home beauty device that uses both microcurrent and nanocurrent technology. It's a type of technology that has been making such waves in the beauty industry because it can tighten and lift and tone the actual muscles in your face um, through regular use. It's really like clinically proven strong technology that is completely pain-free and it's basically like a daily massage technique. It's something that I've really been keen to try and as I said we are a year out from the wedding. What I'm trying to do is just build really positive healthy routines. I've been on a little bit of a journey with my skin. It's not as sensitive anymore. It's just happier and I'm so glad and I think the reason why I've been able to bring it back so well is by investing in my skin and investing in those daily routines. Like I mentioned my red light therapy mask that really helped my skin barrier so I feel like something like this is going to be a really really good one to introduce into my routine so you go in with a few pumps of your conductive gel all over your face what I think is amazing about the zip halo is it comes with an app I have my phone right here I'm going to put a little split screen so you can see what I'm seeing they have guided treatments based on what you're looking for so I think I'm going to start with the instant gratification one it takes six minutes I'm going to switch on the device here I love how small it is. Okay, I'm gonna turn her down because I can follow what she's doing. I can see what she's doing. So this feels really cool. It's like a really mild vibrating feeling. It is not painful in the slightest. It's actually really relaxing. So I'm gonna focus first of all down on the jaw. Gosh, it actually feels so relaxing. I feel like this is such a nice way to start your skincare routine. Now I'm gonna move on to the cheekbones and I'm gonna move up. So she's going all the way up by the brow. When it comes to this kind of devices, I think the rule of thumb is to go up and out. What's really cool about these types of lifting treatments is you can see instant results. I'll show you some before and afters from the website here for people who use it consistently. But I do think that you get that kind of instant lift. So it's very handy to do, let's say the morning of an event or if you had a wedding or something like that. Not only does a zip halo lift and sculpt, which is obviously amazing for anti-aging but it is also really great for lymphatic drainage because you can see here it's kind of like a massage motion and that is going to reduce puffiness so if you're someone who has puffiness if you get water retention i actually don't want this to be over it's so relaxing i feel like i'm getting a facial okay so that is my zip halo treatment finished and my skin feels amazing i just feel like i've given myself this gorgeous massage like my skin feels supple and quite like relaxed, it's it's lovely. So I'm gonna leave this beside my skincare in my bathroom and I'm gonna do it in the morning after my shower, 
after Pilates and I can do my morning skincare massage and I'll check back in in maybe a couple of weeks or a month's time and we can kind of talk about the updates because I do feel like this is something that I can easily work into my routine. It's compact, it's easy to charge. One of my favorite things about working with Current Body is that I get to try out all these amazing treatments and I get to get really good discount codes for you guys. Current Body have very kindly given me a 15% code for the Zip Halo, which is a lovely chunk of change off it. So if you use the code Kira Zip, you can get 15% off the Zip Halo and also the conductive gels as well. And I will leave links in the description below if you want to check it out. I do think investing in things like at home skincare devices are such a good investment because your cost per use is incredible. My LED light mask that I got from Current Body, I have used, I don't even know how many times I would say every other day, if not every single day. And my cost per use on a device like that is absolutely nothing. So if you're someone like me who's looking to really invest in their skincare and who's starting to think about, you know, anti-aging, this is probably one of the best alternatives to surgical enhancements that you can do. This is like clinically proven microcurrent, nanocurrent that you can use every day. And the results that I've seen from people that I know that use these kinds of technologies um, from the before and afters on the website, it's so incredible how well they work. If you're curious to try it, definitely use my code. It will save you a chunk. And I will leave the link in the description below so you can check it out. So I've just given my face a quick cleanse. The cleanser that I'm absolutely loving and have been using for years now is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. This is the one that removes makeup. It's fantastic. As someone who had and still kind of has skin on the more sensitive side, this is so, so good. Sometimes I do a double cleanse if I've had makeup. So I'll do the first cleanse to remove the makeup and then the second one just to give the skin a good clean. Then when my skin is still wet, I'll go in straight away with this. It's the Vichy Mineral 89. It's kind of like a hyaluronic um, serum. It's really simple and it hydrates my skin so nicely honestly i feel like my skin just drinks this up so that soaks in pretty quickly and then i go in with one of the products that i picked up from renew skin clinic this is the zo skin health i think you can only buy them from facialists and this is their daily power defense it's basically a moisturizer but it was recommended to me for someone who has sensitive skin who was preparing their skin to start using actives and retinol again. And they were absolutely right. I used this on its own for about three weeks before I started using my retinol and it really, really helped. So obviously I'm not gonna do my retinol now because it's the daytime and we don't use retinol during the day. But the one that I use is again by the same Zo Skin Health by Obagi and it is the Retinol Skin Brightener. This is 0.5% in strength. I buffer this, so I use a little bit of this this is unbelievable. If you have sensitive skin, compromised skin barrier, if you've got dry skin in the winter, this is amazing. It is the Aven Xeracam AD. It's the Lipid Replenishing Balm. It is the most gentle, gorgeous moisturizer that I think I've ever used. It's also a huge tub. Like, look at the difference. This is massive. It's 200 mils. I think this was 20 euro. I'll leave it linked below. This is what has stopped me from getting the irritation from retinol, especially around my nose, on my chin here and in between my brows. So I've used this and then I've used a little bit of this and then I would go in and use my SPF. And again, the SPF that I use is very cheap and cheerful. It's the Cetaphil Daily Defense Moisturizer in SPF 50. My skin really likes this. It doesn't uh, break my skin out. It also doesn't irritate my skin. It's very, very, very simple. And it's actually really nice under makeup, which I find is something that it's hard to find in a good SPF. It just sits really nicely on the skin. I find it doesn't really make my makeup like pill. It's just a nice way to finish off the routine. Sometimes if I'm not using this product, I will use this product, which is Cetaphil Daily Hydrating Moisturizer for Sensitive Skin. They're from the same range. It's just this one has the SPF in it. So sometimes if I feel like my skin needs a little bit more hydration, I'll use this under my SPF. So yeah, that is my morning and evening skincare routine. And I have to say my skin is the best and the calmest that it's been in a very long time. And I'm really happy that I can start using a little bit of actives again to get those gorgeous benefits, but without 
damaging my skin. I think it's because of speaking to the professionals and getting that guidance on my skin and also using the right at-home products. And I cannot say enough about that red light mask. It has helped my skin so much. To me, it is worth every penny. And that's why when it comes to the Zip Halo, I feel like this is gonna be a skin investment that I'm gonna look back on in years to come and be like, Thank God I did it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little skincare roundup. I've been getting questions on it over on my Instagram and I wanted to do a proper breakdown because obviously there's a few different steps involved. But if you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to sign off for now. We're going to get ready and I think we're gonna go down to the thermal suite and I'm just so looking forward to it. It has just been such a relaxing stay. Um, I can't recommend this place enough. It's, it's fab, the staff are gorgeous. It's just so nice. Um, our dinner last night was was unbelievable I oh my god I had the scallops and then I had the duck for my main it was phenomenal we're having a really lovely time so I will check back in in a little bit how are you feeling lovely very good very relaxed oh wow we're on our way to the thermal spa we were walking and yo stepped on the back of my slipper and it completely broke in front of someone <laughs> It was kind of good evening guys i'm just getting ready for dinner i'm just spraying down these baby hairs i feel like i have such stubborn little baby hairs at the front of my face and this is one of the only things that keeps them down this tool is also the handiest thing ever it's by the brand cantu it has this toothbrush like tough bristle edge which is great for like smoothing down and then this comb which is so handy so these together so we are going down for dinner in i think like 10 minutes i love this lip liner this is the rimmel lasting finish it's in the shade cappuccino anyway we ate in the restaurant last night and it was absolutely gorgeous i had the scallops and i think they were actually the best scallops i've ever had and then i had the duck and it was amazing we were so full got this new lip gloss it's by nyx and it's called their fat lip oil it's very similar to the road peptide lip treatment in that brownie color that everyone's obsessed with it's constantly sold out it's really nice on the lips and it wears down really, really nicely. Sometimes I use stronger like lip stains and they can go bitty. And I feel like if I'm eating, I just want my lip liner and my lip gloss and then I can just reapply. Perfect. Um, would we be able to order um, just two pots of peppermint tea? And do you also have ice cream? Yes, two please. No rush at all. Thank you so, so much. Okay, bye. well hello there so it is two days later and i am going to the brown thomas spring summer showcase um in the city it's in like the expo building down in the grand canal dock i'm in the car park now i didn't realize it was going to be so dark when i parked i already filmed my outfit this morning before i ran out the door so i'm going to insert that here i wanted to show you my outfit just in case i don't get the chance to when i get there but this is what i'm wearing to the show i love this outfit so much I have these black quartz, red tights. These are Calzedonia. Actually, the shoes are ASOS. Um, the blazer is River Island. It's a double-breasted kind of tuxedo style, slightly fitted with shoulder pads, which is perfect for this outfit. I wanted like structure. And then underneath, I have a white shirt from River Island and a little red tie. And the tie, <laughs> the tie is like a school tie it's not even a real one it has like elastic on the back which it makes sense because i cannot tie a tie just to go full cosplay 80s businessman i'm going to do a black leather glove and then i also have this black clutch which honestly i feel like is giving mini briefcase i just outfits like these especially when it's tailored fitted kind of almost like masculine energy I adore I feel like uh one of the girls from I think it's like the Robert Palmer video is it addicted to love is that the one <laughs> you're addicted to love might as well do. like is that how it goes I absolutely love these um, fashion shows that Brown Thomas put on. It is so fun. It's always so inspiring. I always love how they style the models. The music is always pumping. It's just so fun. I love my outfit for today. It is definitely something a little bit different and probably not for everybody, but I absolutely love it. It's so fun. And I feel like for these kind of fashion shows, it's fun to dress up a little bit, you know? So I'm going to head out now. I just need to put my heels on and I will check in when we're at the fashion show. <laughs>
So I've just finished up with the show and I'm just in the elevator now. I'm heading to the car park and I need to jump in the car and drive over to Renew because I'm getting a facial. So I'll be taking all of this makeup off and getting a lovely, a lovely microneedling facial. So I'm gonna check in when I'm there. So Georgia, can you talk me through a little bit what microneedling is? So microneedling is this old mm -hmm. set here. Mm -hmm. um, so we this is are the lovely Georgia, by the way. <laughs> we are needling in our CT serum. Mm -hmm. So that is for collagen production. So mm -hmm. that's going to help with plumping and firming of the skin. Mm -hmm. So when we're needling that in, we are going to needle into the dermis, which mm -hmm. is the second layer of the skin. And that's causing controlled trauma to the skin, which is going to trigger the skin's Fab. collagen response. Mm -hmm. Through channels, then this will go in nice and deep. Amazing. And that can really help. So I am just chilling with the numbing cream on my face for another 10 minutes. So George is going to be doing my microneedling today and I've done microneedling I think once before I think it was once before and I found it amazing they use a numbing cream so you cannot feel anything it um, stimulates the skin's production of collagen it's amazing for like skin texture collagen production just like the overall glow and tone of the skin so we were also talking about the wedding skincare prep plan because now that it's a year away we're kind of working backwards in a timeline in terms of what kind of treatments i'm going to be doing and as you guys know i've said it before i get my anti-wrinkle injections i've also had a really tiny bit of filler in certain parts of my face like my chin and my jaw so they're going to plan out basically what is the timeline to have everything be really really natural but also like do it at the right times but i love with renew everything they do, that they do is super subtle and natural so we're kind of working backwards now in terms of um you know microneedling and facials and stuff so it's so exciting i just i love this kind of stuff i love skincare so much so i am back in the car post microneedling and as you can see i'm quite red my skin feels tingly and kind of warm kind of like i had a sunburn but it's it's not painful i would not usually go in and get a facial with makeup on but it's just the way that the day fell it was just a busy day so up until the wedding we're going to be doing microneedling every couple of months we're also going to do a little bit of ipl treatment after the summer which i would have showed you guys before in the vlog kind of like a laser treatment it's to target pigmentation i obviously will be keeping up my anti-wrinkle injections i'm definitely due them this month but i'm going to push it out i think until april so that i will be able to get one treatment of them which will do me for kind of the summer and all that jazz. And then I will be getting them again. It's, it's written down here. I'll be getting them again in November, uh, which will be great because then it will all be kind of fresh for, uh, for the wedding. But I think the key with this is to time your treatment. So you're not getting anything invasive or complicated or irritating anytime close to your wedding or your event or whatever it is you're prepping for. So I think doing these plans, it looks really intense, but actually it's the best thing for your skin and to just make sure that everything is timed well. So yeah, I think doing my at-home skincare and my at-home treatments and keeping that up while doing my treatments with Renew is definitely the best way to do it. It's kind of doing the stuff that I can do at home um, and keeping up those really, really good routines like my light therapy, also with my zip halo like my microcurrent i just think they're the best things that i can do at home and then we leave the stronger stuff to the professionals aka the microneedling because you know it's just good to leave it to the professionals i'm gonna drive home now i'm absolutely starving i haven't had anything since breakfast and it's like half four so i'm so hungry i need to eat some dinner um but i feel like i'm gonna leave the vlog here because all i'm gonna do is go home and cook dinner and i'm just gonna let my skin breathe i'll take off my eye makeup and i'm just going to follow all the aftercare instructions and just let my skin breathe i hope you enjoyed this very skincare self-care focused vlog um please let me know if there was anything particular that you were doing in the lead up to your wedding or any treatments or products that you really really loved or just skincare tips in general we absolutely love to hear it so please do let me know in the comments below i love using these videos as like a resource so we can like share information and stuff like that but if you liked these kinds of videos you want to see more then do give me a thumbs up to let me know and if you have not already then be sure to subscribe to my channel i post new videos every single week and i would love to have you back for more thank you so much i will leave it there and i will catch you in my next vlog bye